Hello, my name is Alex, and welcome to Red Storm Weekly. This week is build season week one. Today, we'll be going over what our sub teams have been doing in terms of building components for the robot. Let's go. Hi, editor here. I realized that we never recorded or explained what we're doing this season or how it's organized, so I'm going to take a quick minute here and give a summary of what's happening so you have some better context for the video. I highly suggest that you watch the challenge video for this year because if you don't, you'll have no clue what we're designing mechanisms for or what terms we are using. This year, we essentially split up into seven sub-teams, each with a sort of spokesperson who explains their mechanism and what they're doing. We have the marketing team, led by Alex, the motor climber, led by Sarah, the pneumatic climber, led by Jackson, Hopper, led by TJ, Over the Bumper Intake, led by Mo, In Bumper Intake, led by Cameron, and Shooter, led by James. Each team works on their own mechanism, and every two to three days, we meet together as a larger group to show progress. We also have a to-do board that we use to keep track of objectives. Uh, that's it. Uh, back to the video. So this is our prototype for the climber, right? It has two arms. One that extends um, up and down, and it'll latch on to the first rung and pull the robot up. And the other one, the one will latch on to, this one moves um, back and forth. And this one will extend, give control to the, uh, the other arm. And then this other arm will move the whole robot in this direction. So this, so they can uh, repeat the process um, until they until they reach the last bar. So you got your prototype done. Uh, what, what are you planning to do next? So this is scaled down like uh, scale factor one fifth or whatever. So now we're going to build it to scale with actual parts and have it uh, mounted on a robot. Uh, when do you think uh, this is going to get done? Like a week or two. So what have you guys been working on? Uh, so far, our subdivision has been working on a prototype shooter. It's a flywheel shooter. It's going to have a like, curve driven by a flywheel on top. Feeds the ball or shoots out the other end. We're hoping it'll be able to shoot to the upper port of the terminal. Currently, we're still in the construction phase of the prototype, getting to the point of assembly. From there, we're going to assemble it, test it, hopefully by the end of the night. Uh, what have you guys been working on this week? Uh, we're working on a grabber arm for the recent competition where we have to grab onto a bar and then you can up the bar. Basically, we're building um, a stable bar and then another bar right here, which is going to lift upwards and back to grab the next bar. And this one will lift up, well, the entire robot will lift up to grab and then this one will go back. All right, have you run into any problems? Uh, yes, we actually did a different modification of this, but we found out it had some problems, so we made some changes, and we're trying to see if it'll work now. All right, guys, so we're a little late for robotics. So there's this build space right there. We're supposed to actually get there at 10 o'clock, but it's 10.21 right now. Let's head inside and see if I'm the last one in. So what have you guys been working on? So we've been working on our intake for our robot for our, this competition. And so we're planning on putting rollers on a shaft to a robot in into our shooter. Uh, have you gotten to prototyping at yes, all? Yes, we have actually. It went successfully, but now we're just rapid prototyping different designs and configurations to get the best design that we can. So what are the next steps after uh, you finish prototyping? I'll put it on a chassis and see how it works with the other designs. Alright, so it's Saturday and it's pancake day. So we got Ethan making pancakes, say hello. Uh, and we're just making pancakes. Pizza time. Pizza time. <laughs> this is the uh, second design so far. First design is made out of plywood. This one's out of uh, 8020. We found that with the metal frame, it's a lot more consistent. We've been hitting roughly 9 feet. Roughly this is the exact same shot each time. Every time. And now we're getting ready to start transferring over to uh, box tubing to 
lower the weight as well as the profile. This is our Falco prototype slash design. Basically what we're doing here is we have an intake option from both sides and so we can get the gain piece from both sides of the hopper. And then once we actually have the gain piece inside the hopper, we can bring it up using belts for this wheel. Into the shooter. I think what we need to do is work out a consistent method of bringing the game piece up to where the shooter would be and then mount the Lazy Susan for the turrets. Starting to work on the conveyor. Also, I like to build the brackets for the top rollers for the main intake. To clarify, it would fit in like the hole in the robot. Yeah, it would fit into the bumper, but this is not the, not the scale. It's so it fit thing. in like this whole, say, cut, but... Yeah, like I, take, like I take advantage as, in, as the max dimensions for a bumper gap. <laughs> So we need to work on to the next week and the rest of today. Well, for the rest of today, I'm just going to work on the new brackets for the top roller and getting the main conveyors working.